Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Modding. In this episode, we are going to be creating an enemy NPC. Which is something I've wanted to do for a while, but I just haven't. So we're going to start off by creating a new folder called NPCs. Helps if I spell that right. And for this, we are going to be creating a. I'm trying to remember what these come under. They are under NPC. We are just going to create a zombie enemy. And we'll just recolor this later. Okay. So we're going to call this tutorial. Zombie. Now, yep, you can go away. Much like every other thing in this, you should know what to be using by now for the basics. For this, we want to add mod NPC, make that public. Mod NPC is used for NPCs. And like everything else, override set defaults. And for this, npc.name equals tutorial zombie, npc.display name equals zombie, uh, npc.width equals 18, npc.height equals 40 npc.damage will make it so it does 18 damage uh, defense equals give it 10 defense life max it will have 500 life dot hit sound equals sound id dot npc hit 1 npc dot Def sound equals sound id dot mpc def one will make it one mpc dot value equals one hundred f mpc dot knockback resist equals zero point seven five f uh, MPC dot AI style. Okay, this is something I should have opened before. Okay, NPCs have their own uh, AI styles. Uh, I'll try and get one up. Uh, I'm under other NPCs. God damn it. Okay. Uh, enemies. Should show us AI styles in second. Also hate how slow my computer's going. AI. Might just be AI actually. Oh yes, here we go. So these are all the AI styles. You've got zero for no AI doesn't move. Slime AI, Demon Eye, Fighter AI, which is what we'll be using as it's zombie. You can see what actually uses it over here. So AI style equals 3. Then in order to make sure we can utilize the frames in this, as you can see there's three different frames. We can do NPC. No we're not, we're gonna do main dot npc frame count npc dot type equals main dot npc frame count 
and we're going to be taking in three parameters because or we can do uh, let me comment this one out or we could do main dot mpc frame count and we do mpc id dot zombie because it is the same image ai type equals mpc id dot zombie or you could also put ai type equals free and animation type equals mpc .id dot uh, mpc id dot zombie or animation type equals free okay now we want to make sure that this can only spawn when it's not public override float and spawn return spawn condition dot overworld night monster dot chance times 0.75f um and we won't do that just yet so let's just copy our image over to npcs like everything else tutorial zombie and let's test out okay so we're back in uh, if everything worked out we should be able to uh, spawn in our zombie and heroes mod can please go away so I just want to get over here where I was before uh, let's equip this. I think I just right click, can't I? Yep. Okay. Uh, see if we set it tonight. Actually, this is why I use this. Uh, change time to night. Take away that. Uh, let's also get one of our items. Mod, tutorial mod, tutorial yo yo. You're a rabbit, you're our guide. We should be having some spawn in. You're just a normal zombie and I'm getting lag and I do not know why it's really odd like you can see how slow I'm jumping I don't know why it's doing this let me just resize this screen I do apologize in advance that the screen is now a lot smaller I just have no idea why my computer suddenly decided okay here here's ours as you can tell well, actually here are a lot of ours they're all 500 health and they have higher defense and if we get hit by one they're doing quite low damage because I have this stuff equipped they're doing 20 damage and they killed us so let's close this let's just change the name to tutorial zombie Let's change this to a smaller chance, I want to say. Um, we'll just lower your defense to about 5, damage 12, and that's going to all stay the same. Uh, how long have we been recording for? 10 minutes. Let's also create a... Um, a thingy enemy a I let's go tutorial I and like before using Terraria using Terraria dot mod loader using Terraria dot 
a uh, mod uh, NPC. Don't need that. Time being an idiot. And let's just copy this lot here. We are also going to change this bit. So, uh, width by height, it is. Twenty six, I want to say twenty six high, and that's the wrong one. Okay, it's twenty four high, and what was it? Wide, thirty eight. So I'll just keep it at eighteen, actually. Damage, da 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 da, tutorial, line I, tutorial, line I. Uh, let's change this so that's 2, that's 2, that's 50. Knock back 1.75, actually 0 0.25. AI style, as you remember, I'll also change it in this. Could set this to I of no, it's not I of Cthulhu, it's Demon Eye, isn't it? Demon Eye, Demon Eye, Demon Eye. And can it spawn? Return spawn condition dot. I don't remember the rest of the code, even though I just deleted it. Overworld make it day. Uh, desert dot chance times 0.5f. Let's just copy this one over to here and let's also try and remember how to add an item to the enemy I'm just trying to do now if I can remember if you just give me a moment it is that's right Public override NPC loot Okay We'll make it so Let me see What can I make you drop? We do Okay what we'll do Item dot new item int npc dot position dot x int npc dot position dot y npc dot width npc dot height uh we'll do mod dot item type is gonna be Make a drop tutorial or uh, ch -ch -ch. main dot band dot next make it drop between five and ten. Okay, that should work nicely. Let's open up and test. Let's actually lower your life to about 10. Because I'm too lazy. Did we place you? Yes, we did. Let's launch.
I know it's going to take a while. Or not. Here we go. This is also the first time I've tried to make something spawn in the day, so hopefully this will work. Hopefully. A on A. Let's just sort out this again. Da -da -da. Do that. Desert here. Be close to the ground. Also set God mode. One gonna spawn. Wait, what did I actually say to? Over a day desert. Yes. One spawns, it should spawn around here somewhere. Maybe. We'll have a better chance in this desert, probably. No, I'm gonna have to load you and I really don't want to. We are literally just waiting around now. If this doesn't work, I'll be disappointed. Uh, let's go to mod. Tutorial flying eye. I'm guessing that because it is taking the AI type, it will fly away at night. Let's do settings, save and quit, exit, and we'll just change this to there we go. We'll just do that. I'm disappointed they didn't work, but let's uh, reboot and hopefully we will be able to see if it drops the ore which it should do hopefully I'll have to show you how to change AI in a future episode and also create custom AI so you're not relying on these Single player, A, A. Okay. We want to set it to night. We want that equipped. I also need to teach you how to create a grappling hook because that's going to be a fun one. Hopefully we should you're a normal demon eye. You're a zombie. You're a normal demon eye. Very annoying. There we go, tutorial demon eye. And there you go, we dropped six tutorial. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed there there. Don't know what happened there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. In the next episode I will create the grappling hook and I'm thinking of also doing wings in the same episode. Uh hopefully you can create your own enemies now. Your well basic enemies. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.